Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your continued love and support. I really appreciate it. This is a timeless collective reading for all signs. Whenever you hear the message is when you're meant to receive it. Signs and gender may be mentioned throughout the reading, but keep in mind that energy is fluid. So the roles could be reversed. He could be a she, she could be a he. All right. This could be your story or the story of anyone else who may be in your energy knowingly or unknowingly. <laughs> Lately, I've been, um, as soon as I really pick up the cards and start to tap into the energy, I've just been hearing a lot of songs. I'm not sure what's going on with receiving so many song channelings. So for some of you, your clear audience could be um, either coming in for you or you are getting your your gift of clear audience is becoming stronger so with clear audience this means you know those of you who may be somewhat new <laughs> to your your path your journey is it's your your spiritual ears um you will start to hear messages confirmations downloads um through anything that is like audible so you could possibly be you know meditating on something or you know just asking god to provide you with clarity about something you may hear a song you may hear some just a snippet of something on the tv show um please don't take it overboard i i see some people who always think that every single thing that they hear <laughs> even if it's like a reader um that is for them. I mean, sometimes when I when I'm speaking of this type of clear audience, I'm saying you being very intentional about hearing from God, from the Holy Spirit, for some of you from your past on loved ones, spirit guides, whatever, you know, um whatever you connect with and and you will know that. But I I have noticed that lately. And I feel like it's because of this major shift that has happened where a lot of people are just tapping more into their gifts a lot of the bondage and the restrictions is being removed so those spiritual gifts that you've had that have been kind of laying lying dormant at this time i feel like they are going to be strengthened so don't be alarmed for some of you you may start to hear <laughs> what seems like voices in your head i don't know this somebody needs to hear this because i know it may seem like i'm rambling but it's true like um some of you need to know that even when you start to hear from spirit, it's going to actually be in your voice where you're going to be able to decipher. You should be able to discern that it's not you, but it's I think some people, are, you know, think that it's this ooh, spooky, spooky, hocus pocus type of thing for you to be able to hear a spirit. And it's not um, not for everybody. Um you may, like I said, be getting downloads and confirmations and actual voices that are telling you things or confirming things, but it may not sound like a different voice. It could seem like it's actually coming from you, but you will know the presence of that spirit guy, that angel, that ancestor. So I don't know who that's for, but somebody may be dealing with this. Please let me know in the comments if this is something that you're experiencing. Like, have you been hearing things or do you feel like you're being drawn to certain music some of you you may even experience um like your radio or your tv it may just come on or the channel may just change um and and to be honest some of it it is a bit paranormal but that may be how your guides are choosing to communicate with you okay and do be careful because with clear audience like anything else ruled by communication, you have to be very careful because there are trickster energies and spirits that will try to communicate with you when you have those gifts. So again, every time you hear a song, you don't need to think, oh my goodness, this, you know, that must be this person or somebody is talking to me. You need to be very, very intentional about what you allow yourself to speak to. <laughs> 
and who and what you allow to speak to you because you will have people who will play with you um when it comes to communicating with you and you know what i i just thought about it the reason why this is possibly coming up is because if i'm not mistaken the next full moon that we have is probably i think it's in gemini and you know gemini is that like that twin energy it's that um you know it's the the two faces it's the two minds but gemini also has a lot that's a lot to do with communication so for some of you yeah be mindful because what you may be thinking that you're communicating with or who is not who it is that's not to scare you but that's what i'm saying you have to decipher decipher and discern okay a lot of people also when they lose access to you they will try to telepathically communicate with you by sending you songs and sending you you know different things and it's to put drop some type of message into your subconscious to make you react or respond in the way that they're able to control you okay so just keep that in mind i'm going to get into the reading at the bottom of the deck here is a ten of swords and here's the ten of cups when i just split the deck okay so you're coming out of an ending and you're going right into something that's very that's going to bring you a lot of emotional contentment and fulfillment okay you could be um obviously the holidays are coming up spending time with family some of you are thinking about family planning starting your own family creating your own tradition some of you you know this time of year you could be dealing with some kind of seasonal depression with the ten of swords being here just a lot of mental conflict some of you have anxiety about being around your family okay some of you there's been breakups separations divorces this may be the first year you know that you have to kind of you know change things up with co-parenting or whatever the case is I, I just feel like there's a lot of different lifestyle changes that are taking place we have 1010 here um so something is being wrapped up something is, is karmically wrapping up and there's something else starting and it's like literally you're jumping from one timeline from one dimension right into another one and again, that may be why you need to be very careful of what you are hearing or allowing yourself to tap into because what you don't want to do is jump over into the wrong portal timeline or dimension and find yourself repeating a cycle. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, yeah, the Nine of Swords, woo, Five of Wands, golly. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Conflict, conflict, drama, 10 of swords. What the heck is this? Six of pentacles with the seven of swords, the nine of swords here. There's nothing but chaos, conflict, and drama here. Okay. And I'm assuming that this is what this 10 of swords is. All right. This is all in the mind though. Something is going on because of, um, I don't know what this is. Some, somebody is holding on to something in their mind. There's a huge, mental breakthrough that needs to take place for somebody somebody here your ancestors or your guides maybe they're trying to like communicate with you like it's some kind of sos message here because you have the four of wands all of this mental stress drama conflict or whatever it's then it's right here in front of the four of wands so somebody here is really really stressed i mean completely just overwhelmed with nothing but stress drama there is some type of competition here there's jealousy there's envy um i don't know if this is a family feud situation i don't know but the hermit card is here somebody needs to take some time away for themselves away from a certain group of people or a certain situation because it's just not good the overall energy here is a ten of swords and the four of pentacles somebody also is um some of you could have a person that's around you or in your energy they could be dealing with a lot of things in the background that you actually don't know about. Okay. Be very careful of that too, because somebody could really be dealing with something and they're not telling you what they're dealing with. I feel like somebody here is very exhausted. Make sure to your, your check on your people. Okay. Because this gives me the, the vibes of like somebody is, is laughing and they're talking and they're grinning and they're smiling and they're fighting some kind of serious battle here. Somebody could really be dealing with like mental health issues. With all these swords out here. Let me see something. I was right. So um, November 27th is a Gemini full moon. Sagittarius season begins November 22nd. Today is 
Today is November 15th. Okay. So, yeah. And that Gemini full moon. So after the Gemini full moon, we have one more full moon left in the year. There's there's something big that somebody needs to either reveal or that they need to clear out. Because it's something the four of pentacles is a person is holding on to. They haven't been able to let go of it, but it's causing a lot of mental conflict. Somebody may really need to admit that they, they have some kind of mental health issues or there is some type of betrayal, an ending that somebody is really, really struggling with getting over. I'm actually going to clarify. What is this? But it's like once you get over it, you're right here at the four of wands. It's a it's a celebration. And another way that I can see this, too, is for some of you, you're like going through a serious spiritual awakening. Some of you with this nine of swords, this three of swords, it's like you really could be. Yeah, this I feel like this is somebody's like spiritual awakening. Honestly, I'm going to clarify more, but I'm just what I'm getting right now is you could have dealt with a lot of conflict, a lot of drama, competition, issues, obstacles and challenges in your family, your friends, groups, your job. OK, you have some kind of there's external issues here, but there's also these internal factors as well that are affecting you some of you you're trying to get clarity about a situation from your past or you've gotten clarity about it and and sometimes the truth is once you get the truth about a situation it doesn't make you feel better because it could be a very harsh hurtful truth that you've discovered about something or someone okay this could have somebody up all night, nine of swords. Now, this could be you or it could be somebody else. But somebody is not sleeping well. Somebody is possibly afraid, too. Somebody is afraid. I feel that, that a secret is going to be revealed, okay? The three of swords is here. It, there's heartbreak. There's interference here. And it feels, too, again, like it's something here about a secret. Somebody is holding on to a secret. Somebody has possibly betrayed you. And I feel like they are very, very afraid that you may find out about this. So some kind of secret is coming out. Six of Pentacles. This could be somebody that you, you've been generous with. You've given this person something or you've tried to give this person something. Um, there's been equal give and take or you thought that's what it was. The hermit is here. But somebody now is digging a little bit deeper. This may be, look at that, the hermit. And the world. Spirit may be telling you, you need to dig a little bit deeper here. Then the Ten of Swords. Let's see, what is this? The King of Pentacles. Okay. Something could, you may be finding out a truth about, like a person could, you could find out that someone is married, somebody has a child, somebody has um been deceitful or betrayed you some kind of way in a business somebody has withheld money it's something the king of pentacles here um capricorn virgo taurus energy is out here for sure and in all air libra gemini aquarius somebody is i'm hearing like i'm they're just out of options the king of cups okay okay so now we have a King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. I'm getting Taurus and Scorpio energy. This is about something that was eclipsed out this year. We had an eclipse earlier in the year and it was during the um, Scorpio full moon that was in May. And then when we, I guess in October, we had a Taurus full moon. So we have, I think, a lunar and a solar eclipse. There is something here that's supposed to be eclipsed out or it has been eclipsed out. Somebody is still holding on, though, to some kind of truth or or something. This and it's, it's getting out of control because something it somebody. OK, somebody knows that like their time is up. They and I've been saying this for weeks because somebody is still really, really traveling like somebody is skating on thin ice is what i'll say 
they just know it's only a matter of time before everything goes up in in smoke and in flames like they just know it somebody could be holding back the fact too that you know they they've been in some kind of same sex relationship or something like that the will of fortune is here but it's yeah, it's it's ripped, it's torn apart. Some, there's something that a person thought was destined here, some kind of contract, some type of karma. It's not here. Somebody could have been expecting good karma. This could have been two people, two masculines working together. Judgment is here. More Scorpio energy. Yeah. The fool. Somebody was foolish, and there and there's a king of wands. So this is this for some is a group of men. And here you have justice, the hermit, the knight of pen wow. <laughs> and there's the devil. There's been some type of obsession, some kind of addiction, some type of dark energy. The judgment is here. The fool, king of wands. Wow. You literally, there's three kings out here. And these three kings, this reminds me of a reading I've done a few months ago. Where it was these three kings, they come out together. Somebody may be holding back the fact that like they've sent some type of energy towards you to spiritually attack you. This is with these three kings here. This is a shape shifting energy. Somebody here has been afflicted by some type of and this thing. This storyline has been coming out for months. This is an entity here that has been shape-shifting and really body jumping, swapping and whatever that it had to do to keep somebody bound. And I feel like this is something either you or somebody you know, you, you're, you've tapped out. This, this entity, it can't, it, it can't do anything else to you. It can't get any worse than this. Justice, yeah. This this is what's being eclipsed out. There is some kind of energy or an entity of some sort that for some of you, honestly and truly, it it is it has always had a plan to come towards you to get your pure energy. It's the devil. Um, but it's something very low, low vibration. Like I said, the three kings here. This is an entity, but it has something to do with like maybe the the certain princes of hell or something this is a very high ranking low level entity <laughs> um and it's standing in the way of your union it's standing in the way of your foundation this and i i can remember i did a reading i don't remember what it's called but i said this some of you literally at birth you you were assigned angels and, and guides, but you were also assigned some type of demonic force or entity. And it was part of your um, your soul's purpose to slay whatever this demon or this entity is. I feel like a lot of you now, you are right in the thick of getting rid of this. It's being eclipsed out like it's standing I, it, it, it can't go on much longer. And this is a lot for a lot of you. This is something with your blood. Look, death. And y'all know I've been talking about this for the longest because I felt like it truly is a um, an entity that has been conjured out and sent out to the collective Asmodeus or Asmodeus. That particular entity, when I did all of the research on it, it's a three head entity. And it is the demon of lust. And y'all can look at the TV shows, the music and everything. Everything out right now is a projected energy of lust. And that's another reason, like me saying, even about what you listen to, be very careful of the music that you listen to and the things that you say and you sing. Because a lot of this stuff out here truly is like a bunch of curses. You know, and it's not to scare anybody. I'm just kicking it to you for real like this this was really going on um that that entity asmodeus or asmodeus however you say it 
what I read is that it's it's strongest in the month of November, Scorpio season. So for some of you, you've been afflicted by this entity. And this is an entity that is here to block you from marriage. It's an, it's an entity, it's an energy that brings about a lot of chaos and conflict in families and in marriage. So this thing here is running out of options. It keeps trying to shape shift, body jump or whatever. It's, I think it's this 10 of swords is actually this other energy. You may be exhausted, of course, but this energy here, it can't do anything. It can't do anything else to you. Yeah, look, page of wands, look, the devil and the death card again, it's over. You have successfully <laughs> defeated this. I feel like this page of wands here, um, even with seeing the rabbit there, it's like it has something to do with fertility, your reproduction, your young, like vibrant type of energy. Yeah, this this energy, this entity is struggling now to watch you, to monitor you. It can't see things in your life anymore to be able to bring death to it. So obviously with this being some type of entity, it absolutely, um, it's, it has been watching you. It has been monitoring you. Okay. For some of you, it truly is like you look the lovers. It has been why this, this entity has been in love with you. It has been draining your life force energy and everything so that you could not move into anything that will bring you happiness, peace, joy, stability, and especially not a um, a romantic relationship. The Knight of Wands is here and then the Tower. This Knight of Wands, this energy is reckless. It comes in and out and it what it likes to do that particular entity, one of its greatest strengths is mind control. Yeah. See the high priestess. You have to be very discerning, even in lovers. I feel like for some of you, either this entity, you've been afflicted by it or a person that you're connecting with has been afflicted. It's very much like a spiritual spouse. If you know about spiritual spouses, um, it's like this entity feels like it has a contract like it has spiritual rights to you and for some of you this was just a sign to you because you're meant to slay it for some of you somebody they um they could have conjured this energy or this entity up and attached it to you somehow because it's a very very um sneaky malicious energy this is something you could have picked up through you know um some kind of sexual or soul tie with the person doesn't have to be, but it's the demon of lust. And lust to me is not just about sex. It's once you, you lusting about anything, just anything that you're overindulging in is how this entity is able to come in. But it definitely makes you very, um, it brings about a lot of uncertainty for sure in your relationships where you will constantly feel like you want to leave a person or, and I feel like this is the attack. You, do, you don't want to be with, with anybody. This is why now everybody's like, I just want to be single, you know, or all of these long-term relationships that everybody thought were so, so great. They're breaking up. It's a message that's being sent out to the collective that you should not want love. You should not want to be Mary, you shouldn't want to build a family. You know, everybody should just stay single. That that's a, a setup. It's a trap. You have to be able to see through that. That's so that people won't come together and build legacies and actually change the world. <laughs> and this is what's coming to an end. The high priestess. And it this energy is very calm very peaceful today so it feels like whatever this is it's really being cleared out it's fighting though it's really fighting against this ending of of being completely removed and eclipsed out yep it's the devil i'm telling you 
this thing, it, it cannot, it can't keep doing this. Like it's, I have so many readings about this. Like, in order for this thing to survive, it 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 survive. It's psychic survival. So if it cannot tap into you some kind of way to steal your energy, this thing is like using your energy to survive. You have. I have so many. Readings. It's like you're. It's life support. The the plug has been pulled. This person is down to. I'm hearing very shallow breath. <laughs> this you know. It's like when a person is is transitioning. Those those final hours. That's how this is. This person is in this final final days, final hours. Like it's just a matter of time before it stops breathing. It's because you've become awakened to what was happening. Now this person, or you have people that have this this entity has used to work against you. But if you are awakened and aware about what's going on, you will see that whoever or whatever, somebody is trying to put you back into a place where this thing can continue to like manipulate you and keep you stuck. So that's why some of you now, you may be feeling like, oh, you're having problems with sleeping or you're constantly in your head about like a third party situation or a heartbreak or, you know, your mind suddenly just keeps looking at, you know, breakups or negative things. This is an energy that's being sent out to make you want to just give up, especially when it comes to love. So I tell you guys, if you look temperance and the death card, peace, balance, harmony, self-control, moderation, yin, yang, two becoming one, alchemy, death death is about endings but it's also about transformation rebirth <clears throat> queen of cups at the bottom so scorpio season something is ending going into sagittarius season which is coming up in about a week something is going to start balancing out you're going to get your energy back. Your energy is going through some kind of cleansing or clearing of whatever this energy is that has, wow. Whatever has been standing in the way of you and your partnership is finally being cleared out. This is an actual entity that somebody has been battling for a very long time. So, yeah. Wow, look at that. Knight of Cups and the Empress. So for some of you, your person or you have been under some kind of influence and may be confused, but this horse is still going to get this person to where they need to go. Despite the fact that this person, you know, is, is sipping from the wrong, wrong Kool-Aid right now, possibly. The horse is still the, the more powerful force here. So the, the ride for you or your person could be very bumpy. You could fall off a few times, but this horse is still going to get you to where you are. Your spirit guides, your spirit, they're still going to make sure that you get to where you need to go because you're the empress. You have to show up. And this person has to show up for you. But you look, the hierophant, but this is a dark hierophant. This is somebody who has been in the background and they are very, very upset that you still, like I said, this chariot, this horse and carriage, somebody is like, they don't understand how you still were able to move forward past this. Where did this strength come from? So for a lot, yeah, the justice, somebody can't believe that you call justice on this situation. You have this king of wands here. This person is very shocked. And confused that something did not work. So for some of you, this energy that has been sent to you, you being afflicted by this, this entity, this was conjured up by somebody who wanted to dominate you and control you some way. 
They they try. Yeah, this is this is what it is. The moon is here with the queen of swords. Look, she's looking in the mirror. Somebody wanted you to be stuck in some kind of illusion so that they could dominate you and control you. You will buy into this illusion, this trick or this foolery that, oh, you'll never be happy. You're not beautiful. You don't deserve to be prosperous and abundant. Somebody really, really was trying to paint this picture for you. And they was trying to do this when your guard was down. Her sword is down. The queen of swords always has her sword in her hand. Somebody wanted you to start looking at a situation from a place of being very vain, being very foolish, you know, just not thinking with your head, not having your guard up, not having any boundaries so that they could get you stuck in a situation. And now the Knight of Pentacles, somebody is realized they run out of time. Oh, I'm about to show <laughs> somebody knows they lost out because here's your connection. Boom. The lovers, the sun. And then there's the empress. This king of pentacles. This was a bad investment. They never should have done this because they this person, they, they hung themselves. So some of you, you have a king of pentacles person could be Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. This person they conjured up something or they could have paid somebody to do it. They sent some type of energy towards you. They tried to put you in a binding contract with an entity that would leave you afflicted so that you could not go towards anyone else. This is someone who may have wanted to be in a commitment with you that you could have left behind. They did this on purpose. And I feel like it's because they know that you are going toward you're headed towards some type of union with an actual divine partner here. So this person was deciding like, oh, no, the empress here who has come out twice. And it's interesting because this sun is falling right underneath this temperance card and the lovers is falling right underneath the empress. So two people have already chosen one another spiritually. This king of pentacles person who came out first, did somebody here, this king of pentacles, I feel, is the person who has been holding back. They've had this person has been holding back a secret from you. This person possibly has not shared anything with you. You may not even be communicating with this person, but this person with the four of pentacles, they put you in a binding contract for many of you with some kind of entity. And it was supposed to have you forever stuck and delayed. You were never supposed to get out of this. You were always supposed to be stuck and delayed. So this person... So that they could, um, for their own psychic survival, they were also working with an entity. And this is how this person was able to watch you and spy on you. And then here you have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. Somebody was watching you and they probably saw you receiving an offer. And this person and this entity has tried to ensure that whoever came towards you, that there would be some kind of stress, fear, anxiety, chaos, conflict. It's because this person has been watching you and monitoring you, or they've been using this entity to watch you and monitor you. So somebody here has been working closely with an entity to watch you and monitor you. But see, now you snapped out of this illusion. Your sword is back up. You see behind the veil for some of you again, like your clear audience, you're realizing that somebody, there's a trickster energy that's been telepathically communicating with you and playing a lot of games. Now, you're drawing your sword up again and you're calling judgment on the situation that's bringing a tower. So this person and whatever entity they've been using is being completely removed from your energy. And, and the thing about this is once it's out of your energy, it's not going to come back. You're, you're vibing too high. Wow. Yeah, somebody didn't expect you to ever actually call judgment on this situation. Look, Knight of Swords. And as soon as this person came rushing towards you, they were met with this free, liberated energy. And now this somebody is watching you. They're watching you just be free. And they don't understand, like, how? how look, how did you escape this? Because you are truly divine. You're an earth angel. Somebody's like, I don't understand. I put this huge, like, entity, this, this demon, I sent a whole <laughs> legion of demons to this person. How did you survive? How exactly are you so cool, calm, and collected? How? Like somebody, they don't understand because I feel like somebody, again, they have conjured up the biggest, the worst demon that they could find that was supposed to have you forever afflicted 
and feeling defeated and as you can't go on and i feel like you beat the shit out of this demon whatever it is excuse my french but that's what happened <laughs> that's what happened <laughs> you destroyed it <laughs> That's what I heard. You, <laughs> you, you be, you may be tired right now, but I'm telling you, listen. <laughs> what do the old people say? Listen, if you see me fighting with the bear, help, help the bear, because I'm telling you, I'm gonna come out. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. I'm coming out. Help the bear first. I feel like that's this situation. Somebody thought you was. You was real soft, real gullible, real naive until, yeah, look. Now this person's sitting in the dark like, what? They still trying to get a look and see what's going on. They're like, are you are you sure? This is somebody who could have even paid for spell work or something. They're like, are you sure? Are you sure it didn't work? Maybe it's just delayed. No, it's over. I can hear this person like, maybe this person is up all night looking, watching, waiting. They're like, maybe... Maybe, maybe we just need to give it a little bit more time to work. No, it's over. Somebody's happiness is, is well on the way. It's coming in. And whatever somebody was contracted to do, it's over. And the, these situations, they are like time. Time is an illusion. Yeah. But if you know anything about magic or metaphysics or quantum physics or anything, what goes up has to come down like this energy. It was sent. It's. It's not going to stay strong. And if if this energy, this entity has lost its, its power and its force, at the same time, your power, your force, your energy has been amplified. It can't survive. Huh. For some of you right now, what I'm getting very clearly right now, I'm seeing the movie in my head. Look who's talking. If you've ever seen that movie, think with John Travolta and I forget the the other lady's name, but you know, they have a baby in the beginning of the movie is showing the sperm going to an egg. The, you, and you know, if you, obviously biology, ovulation fertility like the the sperm the the sperm has to be able to survive you know so it's the same thing here we it's like somebody was trying to create something but it can't survive whatever contract or whatever this it, it cannot survive this the best way i can put it but that's what i'm saying here this also for some of you, though, because I saw that somebody could have actually been trying to get you. Somebody could have tried to um, get you pregnant even so that they could be bound to you forever. Because that that attaches somebody to your bloodline, to your inheritance. Yeah, somebody was definitely trying to create a cord that will be there forever. And you can absolutely do that with a child. I mean, that's that's the mixing of DNAs. So for some of you, that's what this is. Or it's just showing me that this either is something that has come to you because of your own parents. Or somebody that you have children with. There's a white butterfly flying by right now. Hmm. It's a big white butterfly too. That's a message for somebody. White butterflies is usually for sure like a passed on loved one, a guardian angel. It's the, somebody is trying to let you know that a transformation is coming. And I just looked over, I have a deck sitting here and at the bottom you have delays, but it was sitting this way. So it's upside down. The delays are coming to an end. Underneath, yeah, rebuilding. You're about to rebuild your life. Wow. After a long karmic cycle, somebody here, 
there is something that some people do with like even not oh my gosh wait a minute i've seen somebody talking about this before um it's not not therapy but it's some type of practice that people do using knots do y'all know what i'm talking about oh my gosh not it's called not magic my goodness what is this what is not magic y'all wait a minute oh my gosh it says the magic of tying and untying knots goes back thousands of years knots are sometimes tied when seeking to compel devotion favor good weather love trust and bountiful hunting Untying a knot can be a way in which to get rid of something negative like people, energies, or problems. One Assyrian knot spell describes how to tie knots in your shawl so that the king will show favor upon you. An Egyptian fisherman tied fish skin into rope knots to promote favorable weather. Knot magic has so many aspects to it that we cannot address all of them in this article so let's just look at a few so there's love knots so somebody could yes like a, the knot like tying the knot some i feel like somebody could have somebody has like bound you to them or they try to bind you to an entity or they have an entity attached to them yes you can do not spells for not magic might be the most kind of magic practiced by the ancient egyptians Celtics, Romans, and so many other cultures across so many areas of life from the sea witch believed to tie magic into ropes and knots which controlled the elements to the fertility witch tie knots for fertility and sometimes to not be fertile. Knot magic is truly part of human history and worthy of study by witches and non-witches alike. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So somebody has, this is somebody who has been using not magic. That's a new one for me, honey. I didn't even know what it was until I just saw this picture. Because I saw, I've, I've seen somebody on Instagram, like tying themselves in knots. So I was like, what is that? Um, I've seen it before, but I've never known the history of it. But see, this is the thing when people go and they do this type of magic to you, depending on who you are, if you have, let's say, you know, if you have um, like Egyptians in your, your, your bloodline, it's certain stuff that is not going to affect you. And if you come from a very, 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 um, like, a, I'm just going to say a, a bloodline where you have healers witches wizards warlocks and you know people who may have even been into the occult or were real like healers shamans and stuff most likely your ancestors they have already experienced these things so you are a part of them meaning when people in this timeline this plane this dimension when they do things to you your soul is going to remember that or those people who stand firmly in protecting you they're they're like wait a minute what are you doing because most likely, like I just saw that white butterfly, you have somebody in your family who has probably been a master at this type of magic. So if somebody's coming against you with it, they're like it's going to activate something within you. Wow. It's not magic. So this is somebody who has been binding up your fertility, binding up your wealth, binding up your abundance, binding you up. And, the, and they, they may have done this because they want to marry you or they did this. I just feel like this, this is somebody who, from, from what I'm getting, 
this is like an occultist. This person, they work with entities to gain things, but they decided to bind themselves to you energetically so that they could use your energy to feed this entity. Yo, that's crazy. That's what I'm getting though. Like whoever did this, they know exactly what they're doing. And I've been talking about all of this like ancient forbidden magic that people have been doing for so long. Like this stuff is resurfacing and a lot is getting in the hands of the wrong people. But regardless, like some people are just heavily, heavily protected. This is not magic. I can, I really, y'all, I'm so blind. I cannot believe like I, I wasn't going to use these cards at all, but it literally says delays, karmic cycle, and rebuilding. This is from some karmic relationship that you have with someone. So somebody was in the background causing you to have delays and you still could be experiencing delays right now. But you're experiencing some of you delays now because you're rebuilding your life. You didn't sell your soul. So, you know, it takes you a little bit longer to do things. But it's like you're about to finally be very driven and determined to do something. Or somebody is coming into your life with a, a strong drive and determination to help you, like, come out of some kind of karmic situation. Yeah, look care you have a very beautiful caring connection that's coming and you may be second guessing it right now but you don't have to because you've already won this battle you were able to persevere and get out of whatever this situation is somebody wanted you to be spiritually blind to what they were doing and what it is is somebody has literally been binding you so that you would not tie the knot you just broke somebody here you broke in some kind of hex or curse dealing with somebody who was trying to curse you so that you could not produce so that there was no fertility no abundance no marriage no commitment or anything this is somebody has done this like i said y'all i mean i i was guided to it not magic confinement this was so that you would be bound stuck and bound somebody wanted you in captivity so they i don't know if this person was using like a voodoo doll or something but they they have an altar or something modeled after you after you huh i've never gotten that before that's the idea card disturbance yeah somebody thought it was it was smart for them to Do something to to send like a disturbance to you, something supernatural. Somebody wanted to attach an entity to you. They thought that was a smart thing to do, to do ma not magic and to bind you to some kind of entity or to bind you to them. Or maybe this person had. So for some of you, you have a person. Just take it however it resonates because I'm getting several different situations. We know it's a karmic person and an entity. We know that. But I'm just kind of exploring the different scenarios here for some of you you have a person who had an entity attached to them or they have an entity attached to them this person is under demonic possession perhaps and the entity used them as a vehicle to get to you oh my goodness yeah this entity always wanted you and it is using low vibrational karmic energies around you to get closer to you this came to some of you though through a lover this lover was afflicted by the same type of entity that wanted you i'm assuming and it got to this person and it started using this person to get to you but this person was somehow bound to you or this could have even been somebody else this could be someone who you thought you were supposed to be with at some point. I don't know. I don't know how the binding, how it happened. Indulgence. So somebody was indulging in something. Somebody was overindulging. Somebody here could have been an alcoholic. They were overindulging in, in alcohol. Some kind of trickster spirit got a hold of this person. 
And because this person was connected to you in some kind of way, that trickster spirit, that entity used this person as a vehicle to get to you. And I feel like you've been afflicted by this entity perhaps ever since you met this person. And you probably didn't even know. Yeah. You can relax though because you have a blessing here coming of a lot of family, a lot of happiness. But this situation has caused you so much stress and anxiety. Yep. But look. Reservation. You have the pride card here. Overload and bully. Third wheel. And then eternal love. Yeah. There was something here standing in between you having any having a like the blessing of a, a family having your own home being able to just have peace somebody was stressing you out because it to stress you out it was blocking you from becoming awakened and aware about what was actually happening somebody got stuck being very prideful somebody is very stuck in their ways very stuck in their ego they could have very low self-esteem they wanted to dictate and control you somebody had the idea somebody was des desiring something um <laughs> this entity wanted your vessel yeah Look, idea and reservation. You got somebody here who is stuck. Somebody is stuck. They they don't like themselves. They could be drinking, overindulging in something. They got an entity that attached to them. And the entity was like, hey, we want a new body. For some of you, this is like a spirit that's haunting you. I don't even know if this if this is a person if this person is still here, you could have wanted to help this person. They always had a plan, though, to go on a journey with you. This is somebody for some of you that's like, this is a, a spirit of some sort. I don't know. Sorry. <sighs> Yeah. Y'all, a lot of y'all, I have to be honest. This is a spirit. It's a lot of different layers to this situation. This is a spirit. Like, this is a spirit that is haunting you. This person could be a friend, a family member that's no longer here. This person. Oh, my gosh. This part, somebody, it's like. A person is really trying hard to get back into this realm. And even me seeing the sperm thing, this, this, my God, it's like this person is trying to come back. This person who had this entity attached to them, they're trying to come back. And you have to be careful because whatever this is, it, it's a whole operation. Th these, it's almost like for some of you, you need to be careful. Like somebody could be trying to get you pregnant because they want you to give birth to this spirit, this energy, this entity. It's very mm, weird though, because it's like for some of you, because this energy is no longer there, you may be able now to birth a business or a baby or something like that. But something has not been able to happen because of this person being around you or being connected to you. It's a lot. It's a lot happening here. Your energy has been split between you and somebody. Else. Look at that. Four of Wands, Ten of Cups. There's nothing to worry about, though. Everything is about to be everything. But somebody has been in your energy. Some of you literally have been bound to a person. 
who is bound to an entity and you didn't even know it. Like this could have, you could have been born into this, to be honest. You could have been born with a curse. I'm just being honest. Because it feels like this has always been in the background and you just didn't know. Or you could have, you know, slept with a person who had an entity attached to them. Or even if you didn't sleep, somebody could have just sent this energy towards you. But you have been bound to a spirit. Yeah, death. It's over now. Oh, the Empress. And then the tower. My goodness. King of Cups. That's a lot of Scorpio energy. King of Cups, the tower, death, Scorpio energy. You have the Empress here. The four of wands, the ten of cups. The fool card. You're free. From whoever or whatever this is, you are free. Nine of wands. Some There's something still in the background just like, how in the world did you get out of this? The Ten of Pentacles, you held it down. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, you you did not give up in this fight. Whatever is yours, oh, it's yours, 100%. King of Pentacles here, Knight of Wands, the Chariot. Y'all, this is for some of you, this is a very specific reading. For some of you, there is a person that has passed on. I don't know for some of you if it's a friend, a family member, or an ex-lover. This person wants a new body. And this, you like some of you seriously, I know it may sound crazy. You have been haunted by like a spirit that's not resting. This person, this spirit, if I feel like it's this King of Pentacles. This person is trying to get, like, they want to use your body. They want to use your body. You're, you're this, they look at you like you're the vehicle. They want to use your body. You're a multidimensional being. They're not. This is, this feels like somebody that's no longer here. Judgment. Yeah. And this person, they don't want to face judgment. Oh my gosh. I have so many readings about judgment, but the magician. You're manifesting a new life. You got all the tools and the resources that you needed from this situation. It's over. Two of Wands. You're making a decision now to move with strength, with courage, with confidence into something brand new, into new love. Yes. Moving on. Peaceful, calm waters. Three of Cups. Celebrations. Happiness. Connecting, collaborating, building, networking with your actual soul family. Nine of Cups. And you're going to be very happy doing it. This is like so good yes and love is coming wow wow commitment and offer of loyalty blessings fertility you have to go within coming soon and some of you if if you know there's been a situation with infertility you probably couldn't start something manifest like this new business venture or even the birth of a child because this energy was attached to you i feel like god was saying no whatever this entity is it's not coming back wow god said yeah this 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 demon is not coming back because somebody here if this is somebody that's passed on they keep on trying to run away from from judgment day this person has been in transition like they're just bouncing around they are running from judgment day i don't know what this person did but they do not they th this is somebody who knows where they're, they know they're going to hell and the energy had to be eclipsed out Th this person is very tricky though because even with the eclipse energy, it's still like holding on but it, it can't go anymore it whatever vehicle it was using before it can't anymore look at this divine feminine you're healing healing your inner child doing your shadow work it says here trust in divine time and the universe has your back trust the process you have good karma coming oh my gosh this is so good and your good karma is you're gonna have a happy family you are absolutely that's your good karma Now that this karmic partner is out of your energy for good, 
this karmic partner was trying to confuse you because this karmic partner wants to come back from the past for some of you this is not a person that wants to come back into your life for some of you this is like an actual entity that wants to come back it won't let you go yeah for some of you it's a person for some of you it's an it's an entity and this is the reason why you haven't been able to have a life partner yeah cancer pisces scorpio you could be for sure going through an awakening here or your person could be cancer pisces scorpio something was happening and you thought it was the wrong timing yeah something you had to reject something before you get onto your soul purpose Wow. I just wonder, like, is this a, for some of you, it's a, and a karmic person, you know, it can be anybody. It can be a friend, family member, lover. It says an, an ex-friend is still pressed by what happened. Jealous of your material, lifestyle, home, car, clothes. So you can have a very jealous, envious ex-friend, family member, or lover causing you to act out of character, have emotion, like mood swings, causing hot and cold body flashes. I just feel like this is a spirit, seriously. Block, third eye. This person didn't want you to your spiritual eyes or ears to be open because you would have sensed what was happening. They don't realize you're sending, they don't realize they are sending you the evil eye with their words and actions. Neighborhood drama. It says one, some of, or some of your neighbors really don't like you. Fake smiles and small talk. Mercury retrograde, I told you, I told you. Communication here. Seek someone to perform or learn how to do a core cutting ritual. Yeah root chakra is blocked so somebody's third eye and root chakra has been blocked oh my gosh look sending you dark spirits demons to work against you can't stand your grind or your hustle and they envy you because of your authenticity so yeah this is somebody who <laughs> literally conjured up a whole demon and has been doing what do we say before not not magic Conjuring up a demon, demons doing not magic. Like this person is trying to tie you to some type of entity. Some of you need to do an egg cleanse, but this person, they're doing all of this because they wish they could be like you. Their social media posts and memes are directed towards you. If you've had car problems or issues, it's probably due to this energy. This is somebody who is a, like a demonologist. They play with demons on purpose. Look, sleep paralysis, dark entities, sending entities or demons to hold your physical body down while you dream. And, you know, usually when people speak about having sleep paralysis, they always tell you how they can't say anything. Block throat chakra. This person sent something heavy towards you. And pyrite here. It helps to shield you from the harmful effects that technology can have on the mind and body. Like I told you guys, be careful of what you are watching and listening to. Even cell phones, TV, whatever. Wow. So you got a person out here that flat out, honey, conjured up a, a major demon. So this is somebody who looked into your life. They saw that you had family, success, abundance, possibly a serious relationship or a marriage coming in. They did not magic to bind you, to bind up your wealth, your fertility, all of your blessings. They could have even done this to a person that they feel that you are connected to or connecting with. This person is doing something, though, with the with the dead, like they're for sure conjuring up different things. This person is using going back to me at the be beginning. This person is using entities. So whoever this is, they they definitely are like a a medium, a psychic medium. They're hearing voices. They're working with these dark entities and demons to get information, and they're sending these demons out to do their their dirty work. This person sent something out to you, and it was supposed to completely 
destroy you. For some of you, this has been happening for a few years and you didn't even know. You've been struggling and going through hell, but it's because somebody conjured up this entity and sent it to you. That's for some of you. Or for some of you, you were in a relationship with somebody who could have been battling addictions. There was they were possessed by some kind of entity that was that became addicted to you. Reg however, it got started, just know <laughs> it was some type of entity here at play. You have a wealthy man oh, and the lovers is here. I said this yesterday. Look at this wealthy man, lovers and courtship. This person is coming in for you. You can meet this person through whatever you do for work. Or you're going to work with this person. I've been saying that. Somebody was really trying to block someone. So this is somebody that you know. This is a witch, wizard, warlock, a coven. They saw like a twin flame union coming together. Baby, they, they did all kinds of stuff. I mean, freezer spells, jar spells. But today, now I'm seeing the other, the other spell is the not magic. Mature man, yeah, and a house. You have a mature man that wants to work on offering you a house, a home, security, stability. They, somebody wants to build a, a prosperous and abundant life with you where you're truly happy. The Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles is out here with the Four of Wands. But somebody came in to cause an ending for this divine feminine. And it all backfired. Every energy that they sent towards you is over. This king of cups, whoever this Scorpio person is, or this a master occultist or whomever, this person was foolish. They they have to move away from this. They they can't do this to you. The wheel of fortune is in the reverse. Like time is up. They they can't do this. And somebody could have been um somebody was trying to turn your life upside down. This King of Wands person could actually be a person who's a natural born leader that is coming towards you. The Queen of Pentacles is here. Somebody has their eye on you and they're bringing you stability, security, wealth. Um even if it's just a wealth of knowledge, they're bringing something to you that's tangible. Somebody is like, what? Because they don't understand. They made some kind of offer and it wasn't accepted. Somebody did a lot to stop this person from coming towards you. But look, you have the emperor. They're still going towards the empress because you're, you're in the world, but you're not of this world. You're a healer. You're a star. Somebody doesn't like that. And you're heavily, heavily protected. Whatever this cycle is, it's over. And justice has been called. So you're receiving now confirmation that you are indeed fully in your life purpose. You're a star. You're a helper. You're a healer. You're a truth speaker. You're, you know, for some of you, um, I just heard specifically, you're a prophet. And you're receiving good karma, which is this tangible offer whatever it is along with more protection king of swords and emperor because somebody is like look at that double this a cancer could be significant somebody who came in to try to stop something the chariot is still moving yeah somebody literally did everything to delay your your union your life they they tied you up some kind of way you were supposed to be forever stuck and bound, just delayed. Like somebody was hoping that you would just like die alone. You would never have any kind of happiness, joy. Nobody would ever see you. There would be no prosperity, no abundance. But see, these entities that this person has been using, these entities have been attacking you by uh, being... Um, there, there, it's being attached to different items and people 
location. Somebody could be sending this type of energy to your home. Okay. They're just projecting this energy onto your home, your finances, your, your possessions. Okay. It's a lot. I mean, this, this person has been using a very, this entity, honey, it, it, it's no joke. It is. It's a strong entity. I'm not trying to say like, oh, it's more powerful than you. But I hate when people act like these things don't exist. And I, I hate when people get in my comments and say, oh, you're giving it too much power. No, there's a lot of people who don't even know this stuff exists. And therefore, they don't know what to pray for. They don't know that they need to do cord cutting. They don't know what to do. So if, if you are aware of it, kudos to you. But not everyone knows. And therefore, a lot of people, because they're in the dark, that's the reason why they're constantly experiencing delays not everybody knows not everybody has spiritual eyes and ears to see hear and know these things so please don't don't leave comments like that because I, I don't like it and y'all know me I, I don't care about the likes the subscribes like to the point that I'm gonna let you disrespect me I go in and I block dozens and dozens of people every day the subscriber count is not going to let me keep you on my channel if you're negative. So that's that. <laughs> but anyway, I hope that this gave you guys a bit of clarity and insight. I mean, it was a heavy reading, but very, very calming, very peaceful. I think it was a beautiful confirmation, you know. Um, there's a monitoring spirit or something that has been sent to you, a dark energy or force. I feel like it's being cleared out. So look forward to your new beginning. Try not to let the situation stress you. I know this is easier said than done, but please always go with and so that you never go without. I love you guys all very much. Thank you for all of your love and support. Um, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.